What is going on everybody? Back again and this time I'm going to be giving you guys a quick little tutorial kind of explanation thing uh, about port forwarding. So basically this is going to be why do you need to port forward and what exactly is port forwarding? Because it's uh, it's actually a networking uh, term that uh, you know it's not generally known. So most people don't know what ports are and don't understand why they have to be open or why they even have to be forwarded to begin with. So uh, that's the most common reason that stops people from setting up Minecraft servers. The software part of it is usually simple, but then they get to the networking side of it and they don't really understand uh, the networking very well. So I'm going to try to at least break it down a little bit here. I have kind of a little diagram thing. Uh, little basic network setup where I can show you kind of how the traffic moves so basically how your friends connection is going to travel from his house across the internet to yours and what you have to do at your house so that uh, his traffic isn't blocked because normally uh, there is security measures on your home network that are going to block most of this incoming traffic so so yeah so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that before I do that, I want to let you know about the server that I host. It's called the Quarantine. It's an Anarchy server on Minecraft 1.16.5. We try to update to the newest versions as soon as we can. And yeah, there's no rules on it. You can do whatever you want. Uh, there's a little, there's like a decent community built around the server and a bunch of discords you can join. And yeah, we actually have a bunch of fun. I play on there all the time. And if you want to join in, the IP address is tqmc.org or mc.voicedev.com. They're the same exact uh, server. They just go to the same place. So yeah, uh, let's get right into the, uh, the actual explanation here. Okay, so to start this off, I'm going to try to give you just a little bit of a networking background. So we need to understand what a firewall is, right? So because that's what we're trying to port forward past. Basically what you're doing is creating a little hole in your firewall. If you look here, here's an example of uh, port 80 that's open, port 22 that's open. Let's say uh, you wanted to SSH, which is basically just a secure shell into this. You could go through that port because we've opened it. Let's say you wanted to get to a web server that was on the other side of this firewall. That's what this red thing is, is a firewall. And you'd have to have port 80 open. So for a Minecraft server, which is what we have right here, oops, um, we need to have port 25565 open on our firewall, and normally it's not because that port isn't normally used for anything. So, as you can see, someone tries to connect from the internet, and they just come right up here, and they bounce right off our firewall, and they never get to your Minecraft server, and that's usually what that IO, Netty, Abstract, Channel Exception, or whatever it's called is, that error message you see pop up that's usually what causes that so what what our goal here is is let me just get my color right uh, oh no, I got a fill color white so what we need to do is we need to create a hole in our firewall right here just like we did with 80 and 22 so that we can take port 25565 and uh, we can create a connection that comes straight through it to this computer. Without creating that hole, you're never going to be able to get through to the server, so your friends are never going to be able to connect to you. Because you can connect because, let's say, you're on this PC right here, you're already inside the network, you can just connect straight to that computer. You don't have to go through the firewall. That's why you don't have to port forward uh, for people playing on the same internet connection as you because they never have to go through this firewall. So let's just scroll up a little bit on this page, and here's an example of two different networks, okay? So here's the internet up here. This is your network, okay? And this is your friend that is trying to connect to you. So in your network, you have a modem, you have a router, and then you have all the devices that are connected to your router. Sometimes uh, a lot of people have these two devices in one, and that's what I'm going to explain here today is there's one firewall on your network it's usually set on your router and like I said normally these two devices are the same for most people but we're just gonna ignore that for right now but the firewall what it does is it it protects everything on your network so that a connection coming in from here can't maliciously attack something inside of the network it has to go through 
this firewall. That uh, That's what this red line is right here. So we have to create a nice little hole right here so that someone from over here, they don't need to do anything to their firewall because it's only on inbound connections that it blocks, usually. Uh, most of the time on your home networks, all the outbound connections will be allowed. But uh, we need to set inbound rules. Over here, your friend's connection is going to get out, no problem. He, his connection is going to come from his laptop, all right? Or his PC over here. It's going to come out to his router over the modem and then up to the internet. And then it's going to come down from the internet to your modem and then it's going to get blocked by your firewall, all right? Now, if you create that hole, the packet, which basically is his internet traffic, will be able to travel through and your router because you told it which PC the Minecraft server is running on knows where to send his traffic to. So that's why when you port forward, we're going to have to port forward 25565 to whatever uh, the IP address. So if I, if I go IP config, the, the IP address of this computer is 192.168.2. So let's just copy that. So in order to do that, we have to open up uh, this is just an example of basically a random, really generic router GUI. Um, some older, I think, like Linksys stuff uses this. But just to just give you an idea of what the setting's supposed to look like, every interface for every router is going to be different. So normally, what you do is you go into Advanced Settings, Administration, or something called like Applications and Gaming. On uh, here is what it's called, and this is where we can set our port forwards up. Okay, so we're gonna set up a custom port forward. So the application name, it really doesn't matter. Uh, a lot of these router interfaces are going to look different, like I said before, so they might ask for different things here. I'm going to try to explain them the best I can. The external and the internal port, um, that's going to be basically the inbound port and then the internal port. So we're going to set them both the same for the sake of this, which is going to be 25565 because that is the default port for Minecraft. If you're using a different port that you set in your server.properties file, then uh, you would use that here. And that would be the port that they would use to connect to. Uh, for protocol, just use both. And uh, the two IP address. Um, now, this is important. This is the IP address of the Minecraft server PC inside of your network. If you're on a different computer, uh, it's, it needs to be the IP address of the Minecraft PC uh, server computer, whatever you want to call it. So, in order to get that, you'd open up a command prompt on that computer like we did before, and you'd uh, make sure you run ipconfig, and you're looking for the IPv4 address. In our case, it's 192.168.1.2. So that's the IP address you'd port forward to here. So 192.168.1.2. And then there's usually an option to enable or disable the port forward. You need to make sure that's enabled or it's not going to work on your network. And click Save. And that's all you have to do. As long as that's done, all right, which it should be now, you've created a hole in the firewall just like we did right here. Okay, that's what the port forward just did, and now all the traffic that's going through that hole is being forwarded to the PC that you set the IP address of right here. So it's really not that complicated. It's just a very simple networking thing that most people don't understand, and it gets a lot of people really aggravated because when you're trying to set up a Minecraft server, the software side of it really isn't that hard. It's the networking that hangs everybody up. And uh, I, I hope that this explanation maybe can help you understand what you're doing or understand the problem a little bit better because most people that are trying to do this have no clue what port forwarding even is so uh, yeah hope that helped okay so there's also one more thing that I want to explain and that can be that you have multiple firewalls because there's always different network configurations so basically uh, if your cable modem is separate from your router like I was explaining before sometimes there'll be a firewall enabled on the cable modem which is basically wrapping the other firewall that's on your router so there's two firewalls so that means you have to port forward on your cable modem but this is different you wouldn't port forward to the PC you'd have to port forward to the router and then the router would you have to also again port forward on the router and then that would forward to the PC so it's like a multi-step process at that point you go from the internet you have to port forward through this firewall to the modem okay 
the modem has to accept that inbound traffic and then has to forward it to the router and then the router has to accept that inbound traffic so you have to puncture another hole in the firewall and basically a whole different firewall it's inside of that firewall and then yeah then the router will forward the traffic to the PC so that one's a little bit more complicated and you have to know how to get into your modem settings and change those so I'm not going to explain any of that here but you should just understand that if you know you have two devices that is a possibility so let me show you how to do this real quick uh, if you want to test the port forward that you set up, you, this is a great website to use. It's called YouGetSignal.com. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Um, but what you do is it tells you your external IP address. Don't worry, that's not my real IP address. I'm on a VPN. So it tells you your IP address. This would be the IP address you'd give out to your friends. Whereas if you were joining, like I said before, you would use the internal IP, the one that you port forwarded to. This is the one you give your friends. Totally different IP address. But what you need to do is you need to test the port. So it autofills your IP address in here and then you need to type in 25565 and you need to check it. And it's going to be closed for me because I don't have the port open. But it's going to obtain your port status and when it's done, if this right here says open, then in this is green then your port forward is working if you see this right here that means it is not working and you need to uh, do something to fix it so I hope my explanation helped clear it up for you a little bit uh, exactly what port forwarding is why you have to do it to get other people to connect to your minecraft servers um, I guess if you have any more questions uh, you can leave them down below uh, it's really hard for me to help you guys like one-on-one -on -one with specific port forwarding questions only because everybody's router interface is different. The best thing that I can suggest for you to do is go on Google and search up a guide on how to port forward for your specific model of router because like I said they're different for everything. Uh, I could really only speak for some of the Xfinity equipment, some Cisco equipment and just a couple other different types of routers that I've used. So I'm not going to know everything. And one more thing I forgot to mention in the previous part. If you see uh, a field for WANIP, put 0.0.0.0. And the LANIP is your 2IP or your server IP. So that's the same. But yeah, so just if you see the WAN port, or, uh, so, I mean WANIP, or port sometimes uh, they ask you for that field as well but other than that you shouldn't really have too many issues if you just follow this guide and try to understand what you're doing it helps you uh, solve a problem better when you try to understand it so uh, thank you for watching uh, if you're interested in my minecraft server make sure you check it out again I'm gonna plug that tqmc.org um, yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed this video uh, be sure to subscribe for future tutorials like this. I'm going to try to make some more. And yeah, leave a like if this helped you in any way. Drop a comment if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next video.